Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another tutorial from me, Rosemary Rogers. I hope you're all enjoying the um, Fairy Festival, if you've managed to get there. Um, there's lots of stuff going online as well. Um, it's a wonderful shop to visit. And um, I'd like to share this card with you that I've made using some of the new Lavinia stamps. So I've called it Olivia Admiring the Seed Head. Okay, so this is the new Olivia stamp, the Flourish, the Leaf Creeper, the Mini Leaf Creeper and the Dandelion. Beautiful stamps, go well together as well. So for this project, you will need the following elements. So you'll need your elements inks in Sundance, Blue Lagoon, Pine, Olive and Violet Chalk. You will also need your VersaFine Clear in Nocturne, Shady Lane, Monarch, and you'll need um, some brushes. I've used two makeup brushes for the background and um, two Lavinia brushes also used on the background as well. Um, you'll need um, the new, this is one of the new um, stencils called Ambiance. Um, you'll need a sparkle pen or any, any sparkle product that you use to for your flowers and I'm also using a silver jelly roll pen. Um, you'll need a piece of square multifarious cut to a 16 inch square. I'm also going to use the, the hill mask that's not got much of a curvature on it. So I use this one, I tend to use this one most. And these are the new stamps that I will be using. I've already shown you in the card. So we're using the Lily Flourish, the Mini Lily Flourish. The mini leaf creeper, the large dandelion, and the small Olivia. Okay, so let's get started on our project. So, first off, I'm going to start with my card, which once again is 16 centimeters square. I'm going to start with my background. Now for my background I've done sort of like a sun area in the background but I didn't actually um, use the circle mask. I just did it freehand as I wanted it to look more of a glow than a sun. So I just took my Sundance, tapped my Lavinia brush into my Sundance, tapped it off on the side of my area work area and I just gently went round in circles until I was happy with my son. quite happy with that now. I'm just going to wipe up this yellow ink here. As you can see the elements, oh just got it all over my finger. The element inks are very juicy. And then I'm going to start with my blue. So I take my big brush because I'm going to do this large area and once again I'm going to dab my brush in and then dab my brush off and then I'm going to get a piece of paper just to cover my card so I don't get my oil from my fingers onto my background because it can leave marks. And I'm ge gently, not, I am going up to the yellow, but I'm trying not to get a green hue. So I'm just trying to get my yellow to stay yellow. I'm just gently going around 
in circular motions but I'm not pressing hard I'm just pressing very very gently There we are, so I'm quite happy with that. I think I'll have this area here as my grounding area, grounded area. So I'll put my blue away for the moment. I will need it again in a little while. And I'll give my work surface a little clean. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our grass area. Now we always turn my card that way for some reason. We all have our own funny quirky ways of working. Now moving on to my green elements. I'm using the pale one for the background and the darker one for the foreground of my grassed area. Whoops. So I'm just going to place this at a jaunty angle. Get my green brush. And put my green ink there. I've got to clean my mat, sorry. And I'm just gently going to run my brush backwards and forwards. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. There we go. So that's going to be my foreground, uh, my background, sorry. And then I'm going to swap to the olive. Which is a little bit darker, not, not that much darker really. There we go. Okay, that will all dry clear like one colour. Now we're going to do a little bit of stamping actually now. Now, for this first stamping, I'm going to, to use my dandelion. And I want my dandelion to sort of, it's going to come off the card a bit. I want it to sort of come over at an angle. So that's roughly where I want it. I'm going to put it there like that. And then I'm just going to turn it in a little bit. If I didn't if I didn't want it coming off the card, which I don't think I will on this one, I'm going to put a little bit of masking tape there so that I'll actually be able to ground it in the picture this time. So I'm going to have it about there. So what I'm going to do now is I've decided I'm going to move my card up. 
I'm going to put that there. That there. I'm going to have. Oops. I'm going to bring that in. So I want it to be looking over. At Olivia like it is in the other one that I made. No, no, over much further, don't I? Just play around until you're happy. That's the best thing to do until you're happy with what you want to do with it. So I'm quite happy with that one. So I'm going to get my shady lane. And I'm going to ink up. stamp in Shady Lane Versafine Claire. Just going to clean off that little bottom bit that I always catch with the ink pad for some weird reason. I don't know why. And then stamp. Found this little teddy bear and I've just been using it to press down with. So there we go. So that's our first stamped dandelion. The next thing I stamped was Olivia. So I can work out where to put Olivia next. So I want Olivia. On the other one it was a bit higher up. I'll have her holding it up to the dandelion. And we're using a new Versafine Nocturne ink pad. wipe off if I get any on my stamping platform hold that in just stamp once more to get a little bit of a darker fairy Going back to our not to, um, to back to our shady lane and back to our um, dandelion. And we're going to push that up a bit more this time. And we're going to stamp another dandelion just here. And we're going to have the third one here. It's Mother Lecture likes things in odd numbers, doesn't she? So There we go. So that's that part done. So now we can take our card off our mat. To put that over there for the moment. Put 
my stamping platform away and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually use our acrylic stamping card I quite like these I've only just started using them but um, I do like them they are quite nice to use I've been using them for little bits at the moment until I get used to them because I've got so we're just gonna stamp some little mini leaf creepers in the bottom we're going to do some first and some second generation so I'm having first gen oh, I'll come off the card there okay and then I'm going to ink up again And I'm going to do one over here. So that's all that part done. So there we are, getting on nicely now. Right, let's put a bit of water on there. Like that. Right, so that's where we're at at the moment. Clean off my acrylic stamping board. I'm going to use that again in a moment for my flowers. But what I think we'll do now is we'll do our stencil. So I'm placing my stencil over, and now you can see where I used it before with the blue ink. And I'm not stamping it down taping it down I should say I'm just going to hold it and then I'm just going to tap off right here and then I'm just going to very gently go around some areas Go. Okay, I hope you like it so far. That's fine. So now I'm going to stamp the mini Lily Flourish. And once again, I'm using my acrylic block. So now how am I going to put that that way and that's it so this is what I'm using my monarch ink for stamping and I'm going to be stamping in first and second generation all around the side of the card so I started at the top of my card 
and I came down as far as the sun area, the yellow area. And then I'll come in. go safe place to put your stamps as well when you've finished right, I'll move, just move that out of the way for a moment and there's our card so far very pretty now we're just going to add our finishing touches to our card so I'm going to get my purple brush and dab off once again dabbing off over in the on the other mat area I'm starting at the bottom and I'm just going to gently brush around the edge of my card. To hopefully draw your eye into the middle of the card. No two cards ever look the same when you make them. But it just gives you an idea, gives you some inspiration. You could have this as like a get well card, sending get well wishes, happy birthday, thinking of you. Lots of reasons that this card be, could be used for. The Vinyas stamps have brought out some words now in Welsh, which is really nice. We've got, um, I know one's a happy birthday. I can't actually remember what the other two are. There we go so far. So we're just going to put some finishing touches on here now. Um, there are some bits of the video that I will speed up. Um, so hopefully you'll still be able to follow along you can still pause the video so I'm going to squeeze some ink from my sparkle pen onto my work surface and using my little paintbrush very fine paintbrush I'm now going to paint all of my little flowers with my sparkle pen I will speed this part of the video up and I'll be with you in just a moment.
and there we go i hope you can see the sparkle in that it looks beautiful oh yes that's showing up nicely fairies and glitters go very well together so for, oh, for the last part i'm going to just sparkle up my dandelions so i'm just using my pen for the center and then i'm just going to go around each line of the seed head to give them a bit of glitter as well And there we go. So that's our seed heads done, or our dandelions as we call them. And I've also done the leaf area at the base in just to give it a bit of a highlight. Now the last thing to do is the fairy. So I'm just going to highlight the fairy and do her wings also with this pen. And there we go. That's our card finished. So we just need to mount it up now onto the card base. And there we go. And that'll be our next card done. Okay, I hope you can see all the twinkling. So you get two different cards. The dandelions on this one are a little bit smaller than they are in that one. This card is like one centimetre smaller. That was a 15 inch. This is a 14 inch. Okay. So enjoy the rest of the festival. And I hope you have great fun. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon. At the end of the video, I will be putting um, a complete... Um, products list of all the things you need to make you, you can use um different colors i might do some of these in different colors as well i think they'll look nice with different colored flowers and different colored backgrounds but have fun creating and i'll see you again soon bye